Hello, in this video we'll be going over how to create meta humans and how to use them as playable characters in your game. And if you want to learn how to create even more awesome content with Unreal Engine, be sure to check out my website, you'll learn how to make a bunch of different games. It can be found in the top link in the description of this video. So let's go over how to create one and add them to our projects. To get started, you're going to want to head over to this website, I'll make sure to include a link to this website in the description of this video and this page will basically give us an overview of what meta humans are and how we can use them so feel free to go through this page and then once you've done that you just want to go here and request early access to the meta human feature so i've already done this and once they basically give you access just click here and launch the app and this will take us to the meta human creator then select the version of unreal engine that you're using for your project so right now i'm using 5.1 and then I'm just going to launch my MetaHuman Creator and this will basically take me to the page where I can create my MetaHuman. So once it loads, you should see a page like this where you can see all of the previous MetaHumans that you've created. If you've never created one before, then it will just be blank. But to create a MetaHuman, what we can do is just go here where it says Create. And this will basically take us to a page where we can select a template basis for the MetaHuman we want to create. So just find the meta human that you kind of want to base your character off. So I'm just going to select Hannah and then we can customize and kind of change our meta human. So I'm just going to go create selected and I'm now in the meta human creator. So on the right, you're going to notice a bunch of hotkeys, which we can basically use to kind of move around. So I can press two and that'll take me and show me the whole body of my character. I can hold the right mouse button to kind of rotate and see my character. Here at the bottom, we can kind of change the animation that our character is playing. So right now they're playing an idle animation. We can change it so it's, let's say, a emotional animation and my character's on the floor crying. We can change their face. So maybe I'll make them sad. I can change their body and so on and so on. So here in the left is where we can customize how our MetaHuman will look. So there are three main settings we can play around with, the face, the hair, and the body. So let's play around with the face. So if I just go blend, here we can customize the face of our MetaHuman. I'm just gonna press the one button to zoom into my MetaHuman character's face. And here we can basically make our character's face a mix between some of the preset MetaHumans. So I'm just gonna drag in, let's say, Ada, place her here, Bernice here, and then Brian here. And we can basically make it so my character has a mix of the features between these three characters. So with this selected blend, if for example I select the nose, I can make it so my character has the nose of the character in the left here. Or maybe I want it to be kind of a mix between this character and that character. And if you want to, you can add even more characters that you can kind of blend your character between. So maybe I'll make their chin kind of like the character on the right. And I'll just rotate them. So I can kind of see, I can change that ear maybe to be like the character on top and so on. Then the next um, blend setting we have is this sculpt. So in this mode, it's not gonna blend between um, our preset characters faces, but here we can kind of sculpt how we want the face to look. So maybe I'll adjust my character's nose, move it up a bit. I can adjust their lips, make them a bit um, thicker. And then the final blend setting we have is this move. And here we can kind of adjust our character's facial features. So maybe I'll move their lips um, down a bit and make their ears a bit wider. And then you'll notice it's kind of doing everything symmetrical. If you don't want your um, changes to be symmetrical, we can just click this turn off symmetry and that will kind of remove that. Then we have the skin. Here we can kind of customize our character's skin color. So maybe I'll make them a bit darker or I can make them lighter. I can give them freckles maybe if I want them to have that. And with these settings, we can kind of adjust how the freckles kind of look and how strong they are. And then we have the accent. So here we can kind of um, control how yellow or red our character's um, facial features will be. So maybe I'll make it so their nose is kind of red and got a lot of blood going to it and so on. But feel free to kind of just play around and work with this to kind of create your own meta human. We have the eyes. So maybe I want my character to have um, blue eyes. So they look, I don't know, kind of cooler. We can change um, their iris, basically give them more definition. 
And if you want, you can make it so your character has um, different colored eyes. So if I just go here and select the left one, so maybe I'll make it so their um, left eye is a slightly different color. We can play with the um, scleria. So this is kind of like the um, back of the eye. So this white bit here, we can basically tint it a darker color if we want to. I'm just going to leave it. We can play around with our character's teeth. So maybe you want them to have really white teeth so they look clean. We can kind of adjust whether we want them to have really um, smooth teeth or we want them to have variation. So with this, their teeth are really varied. We can change the tooth length. And if they have plaque, we can also kind of customize um, the tooth length here. So maybe you want to adjust the front teeth so they're a bit bigger and so on. We can give our character makeup. So if we click apply foundation, it's going to give our player character makeup and we can kind of adjust their eyes, blush and lips and so on. I'm just going to um, leave this at this. I think this is decent, but you can play around with these settings to kind of give your player character makeup. Maybe you'll give them makeup around their eyes and so on. But I'm just going to leave my character without makeup. Then we have the head. So here, if we go to style, we can customize what type of hairstyle our character will have. So maybe I can give them this short receding hairline and they look a bit weird. Maybe I'll give them an afro. But I think I'm just going to give them this short pixie. Actually, I think that looks a bit weird. So I'm just going to give them this short updo. Okay. And then we can change the color of this. Maybe I'll make it kind of um, reddish. If we go to the details, this gives us more settings that we can kind of customize with our hair. We can go to the eyebrow, change our eyebrow color. I think I'm just going to leave it there. We can give her a mustache. This is a girl, so I'm not going to give her a mustache. But if we just go to style here, I can maybe give her a mustache if I wanted to. But I'm just going to leave this. And same with the beard. If I wanted to, I could give her a beard. But I'm just going to leave it because she's a girl. Then we have the body, we can kind of change her body shape. So if we want our character to have short proportions, we can just leave it on this. We can make them have average proportions. And maybe give her a body like this. Or we can even make our character really tall, but I think we'll just leave it at average. We can customize basically um, the top that our character is wearing. So if I just go to style, maybe I want her to wear this crew neck t-shirt and she'll be wearing it. And we can change things like the color, maybe I want it to be green or this light color and we can also change the secondary fabric maybe i'll make it pink and we can play around with the details of this and maybe you want the um, shirt to have a design so maybe i'll give it this chicken and now my character will have a shirt with a chicken on it we can do the same with the bottoms so maybe i want her to be wearing something different maybe just some shorts or some yoga pants if I go to the detail section, I can give this a fabric. Maybe I want it to be camouflage. If I go to shoes, we can customize the shoes that my player character is wearing. So I'm just gonna change the camera to the shoe camera and I can kind of play around with the um, primary color of this. I can change the shoes she's wearing. Maybe I'll make her wear flip flops. Okay, so with this, I've designed my character. I'm just gonna go to the body camera so I can see my whole character. And then we can customize the name of our character by going here. And I'll just call her, yeah, I'll just leave it at Hannah. But here you can customize the name of your character. And Unreal Engine will basically automatically save and store your character. So once you've finished mucking around with your character, you can just um, close the MetaHuman Creator and open up your Unreal Engine project. Okay, so I'm in my Unreal Engine cinematic project. And what I can do to add my MetaHuman to this project is just go over to Window, then to Quixel Bridge. It will ask us to log in. I'm just going to sign in with my Epic Schemes account. That's the account I created the MetaHuman with. Okay, so once you've logged in, if you just go over to MetaHumans, and this will basically show us a bunch of preset MetaHumans. I recommend adding one of them to your project because when you install MetaHuman, you need to basically enable a bunch of plugins, otherwise it won't work. So just install one of the random MetaHumans and just click this Add button to add it to your project. Once you do this, you'll see that you're missing a bunch of plugins. Just enable all of these missing plugins. And then you'll need to restart your editor to apply the new settings. So I'll just do that now. Okay, once you've restarted your project, if we just go to MetaHumans, then we can go to My MetaHumans, and it should keep track of um, the MetaHumans that we've made. So there it is. I can see the MetaHuman character that I made. 
if I just select them, I'm going to download them in medium quality because I don't want to take up too much space on my computer. Then if I just go download, it will download them. Okay, so after a while, my MetaHuman has downloaded. So to add it to my project, I'll just click add. This will add the HANA character that I created to my project. Okay, so if we now go over to the content drawer and go over to MetaHumans, we should see um, a folder of your character. So my character was called HANA and I can just drag them into my level. The compilers will load up. And with this, I've added the HANA character that we created to our Unreal Engine project. Nice. Next, we'll be going over how to replace the default third person character with the meta human character. So to get started, we first want to just go over to our content drawer and go to the meta human and just open up their um, blueprint. Now the default meta human blueprint has some um, compile errors. Let's just go over how to fix this. So if I just go here, we just need to drag up here and look for get skeletal mesh asset and connect this into here. Delete this and just click compile. And then if I click this button, we'll do the same thing. Delete this, drag up here and look for get skeletal mesh asset. And then connect this into here, go compile. And that will just remove that um, compile warning triangle. Next, let's replace this character with our mannequin character. So if I just close this, go over to the content drawer and we just need to go to third person blueprints and open up the third person character. Go over to the viewport and then if we just go over to your metahuman blueprint and just select the body, click this little um, folder icon that will basically take us to where our metahuman's body is. Then if we go over to our third person character, select the mesh, then click this arrow that will basically replace the third person character's body with the metahuman character's body. So we're basically just going to copy all of our metahuman's um, parts into our third person character because this comes with the controller and everything. So if we go back to our metahuman, select the body, legs, torso and face. So I'm holding control and selecting all of these. So if you just hold control and select all of these, press control C, then go to the third person character, right click and go paste and it'll paste all of those. So we didn't paste those inside of where I wanted to. So with all of them selected, just select them all again and then move them to the mesh. And this will make them a child of the mesh. So right now we can see they're kind of located weirdly. If I just click this arrow, this will reset their values and kind of make them aligned. Now my metahuman is also missing all of their hair. To add the hair, if we just go back to our metahuman, select all of the hair. So I'll hold shift and select everything, press control C, then go back to my third person character, select the face, and then I'm just going to paste this here. And that will add my metahuman's hair. With the hair all selected, just select it and then make it a child of the face. Next, if we just select our mesh and just select this body, search, and then go to it and just right click and go skeleton, go assign skeleton. And then I'm just going to drag this out. And you want to select the SK underscore mannequin and just go accept. This will basically retarget this mesh to our SK mannequins mesh so that we can use its animations. So we just click OK. And then we'll do the same for the torso. So just select it. For some reason, um, I can't see my torso skeletal mesh, even though it's here. So if we just go back to our meta human character, select the torso here then go search, right click on it, then go skeleton, assign to skeleton, and just select the SK mannequin. So we want this one, go accept, then select the legs. We'll do the exact same thing. So I'll go search, right click, skeleton, assign to skeleton, then select the SK mannequin and just accept this. Then I'll go to the feet, go search, right click, skeleton, Assign to skeleton and I will select the SK mannequin and go accept. Then if I just go back to my third person character and select the mesh, go over to animation class, then select AP Quinn. My meta human should be animated. You'll notice how the clothes aren't aligned, neither are the um, feet or the legs. In order to basically make everything aligned, go over to the construction script 
and we just need to drag in the torso, the legs, and the feet. We need to drag off here and look for set leader pose component and just connect legs into here and feet into here. Then drag in the mesh and connect this into here as the new leader bone component and connect the construction script into here and just go compile. And that will basically make everything aligned. And then if I just close this and go play, we should be the metahuman character and I can kind of move. So you'll notice the character's um, legs are kind of moving weirdly. In order to fix this, if we just open up the content drawer again, go over to characters, mannequins, then to animations. And we want to open up the AP many because the AP Quinn is basically a child of this um, animation blueprint. If we open it up, then go over to the animation graph. So we can just click here or either here and it'll take us there. Then go over to the control rig. Then we can ignore all of this and go to the bottom. We need to just change the root to be the animation root. Then just compile, save and close this. And if I go play, when I play my game, I'll be playing as the meta human character that I made. So I can move around, jump and everything. Nice. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.